tomahawk has been hangered in my garage for its annual maintenance and some significant upgrades. At the same time, Peter Dobson has the under-construction Seneca in his carport. So what are we doing? Well, firstly the tomahawk. For the first time in four years, the PC has been connected to the internet. So Windows 7 has been updated, some 48 updates on that. The GeForce uh, graphics software has also been updated. And based on uh, Peter Dobson's recommendation, Explain 10 has been updated. The Joystick Club has also bought a Tomahawk plug-in for Explain. Previously we used a Cessna 128 tail dragger, so not very realistic. Sometime during the year the anti-collision lamp failed, so that's been replaced with a red one and the wiring has been ruggedised. Right, it's a nice cable clamp this there. We've mitigated the sharp edges around the VDU cable entry. Now it's getting warmer, work can start on some big changes. The most significant will be the installation of fully working instruments. In late January I visited Peter to admire the progress he's made. What we've got here now is the last time you did some filming for us we just had three instruments which was altimeter, um, artificial horizon and airspeed yes, oh, that's right. and at that time that was driven through two cards we had on this baseboard here so what I've managed to do now is get all five instruments that I've got so far onto a single interface card um, together with some filtering which we found yes, out we needed the, the, the heat or the power the, yeah to get yes. rid of the heat from the instrument you can see it going up in single one one not steps <clears throat> so the airspeed if I am um, if I do that, you oh, see it goes up in one it. steps. Yeah. And likewise, um, the vertical speed goes up in... And the vertical speed, well, that actually, that's caused by the update rate because we've only got uh, five frames per second from... Oh, um, oh. So that will actually get better. Yeah. Um, it's because this computer's too slow. It's Turn good. slip I'm still working on, actually. That, that's not working at the moment. But the altimeter's working. That, that's, okay, um, that's going in sort of... It was going foot, in ten foot, foot steps, steps, yeah. Foot. But it's, it's, it's not Brilliant. too bad. <laughs> Um, and the artificial horizon, well, so if was, I can... That was one degree steps. That, that was one degree which steps. Is minimal, yeah. Yeah, Again, you can't, can't really see that too much. Um, the stepper motor is this one. And what I'm going to do is... Uh, whoop, not that. I'm going to mount it on the back of um, this rev counter here. So with, with a... Um, Little boss and of the some thread, sort yeah, of thing, yeah, that's right. Yeah. And then the stepper motor will be driven by this card again to give us the revs per minute. I'm going to mount it on a piece of this wood. Yeah. So basically, the piece of wood will comprise of that card, these filters, which will be properly done. These are the power supplies. I can mount those under the engine cowl. Yes. Um, so all the mains is one side of the firewall. That would be really so good. That's nice. <coughs> yes. There's not a current taken here, is there? Um, no, we're up to about, uh, about just under an amp at the moment. But it's just a matter of writing the remaining bits of software to drive yeah. that. Yeah. Now the connectors you've um, managed to purloin. Yeah, I purloined those off the old system. Right. Um, because so they've got the proper. They've got clip, the proper clips. They? Yeah. Because which is uh, so. Oh. That was going to be a problem with the wires. But yeah. what I've done, as per your instructions, these are all 800 millimetres long. Yes. I mean, this, yeah, this yeah. is the worst one. It's got 15 connections to it. Yeah. The electronics to drive the instrument servos will be mounted uh, in the uh, COM2 tray. There's currently a Wi-Fi router in there. This is used to communicate, uh, explain, uh, to a Sky Demon on an iPad. The router will be moved to the parcel shelf. The way the various panel switches interface with the PC will be changed. A new diode matrix has been purchased and Peter's kindly offered to write software to enable the current bank of relays to be removed. That will result in a far more reliable system. It was agreed that the Tomahawk should take priority over the Seneca. Nevertheless, much progress has been made. This will be the screen for the Garmin 500. Okay, this is the drive card for it and all you do is you plug in HDMI in there which will come straight out of X-Plane. Yeah. So basically we'll end up on that screen with this instrument here. Yeah. That, that's what we'll yeah. end up with. I'll put the lights on. The pieces that Mike and his team made up here yeah. which was to, to, um, to bring the controls out, they're now finished. So basically there's a pot on there and a the, cable. They, they made them to do they, they made these bits and oh, then really? I made the top bits to go on top. And the bearings, are they part of the, the original? The bearings were from the original, yeah. So oh. if we do that, can you see what's happening? So that's, that's pitch. 
and it's all calibrated, the whole thing's calibrated now. And then rolls the other one, there's the roll. So that's now working. And then um, the flaps work, the trims work, both trims work, fuel selector works. So everything in the centre console is now finished and operational. The other thing I've done, I was looking at spring returns for the rudder and I've put two springs in here. Um, I was going to put some a frame around this so that it's spring return to the middle. To centre it, To yes. centre it. Yeah. Um, yeah. But what happens here, there's a, there's a, um, a tooth belt here and, and basically what that does is you can see what happens, the, the pot's moving round as I move the... Um, the, so the it's rudder button. As, it's as simple as that. Well, it took me a long time to work out how to do that because originally I was trying to mount the pot on here somehow. And the same with this one. You see, this this is springed, sprung. Yes. So that uh, it keeps the belt under constant tension. Yeah. Yeah. And the same with this one too. That's sprung as well. And uh, Mike made up the springs to do this actually, which is brilliant. And then it's all wired back into here, which is the original wiring. Yes. And then it all comes out up here yes. on the connectors. And I'm still fighting really hard to work out what the connector pinouts are. Um, but I need to find where all the instruments go because the teensy card I've got upstairs, I'm going to mount it here. Yeah. And then there'll just be a cable going from there up into this connector here to feed all the instruments yes. that are pre-wired. But I'm looking forward to seeing it all working, I must admit. It'll be, yeah. uh, we're getting there. <laughs>